How's everyone's dinner? I really like the pancit. It might be one of my top favorite Filipino dishes. And the garlic rice slaps. Yeah, this dinner was really well thought out. Come on, we all know the kolabok and the lomi miso were actually the best dishes you made, buddy. Oh my god, they're doing too much. We all know that Lodi makes her food way too sweet. Right? They're being so plastic. I can't believe we don't know who she's giving the land to. Do you think she's gonna give it to the Concepcions? They don't know what they're doing. They suck at business. Is everything alright there? I thought I said no just missing at my dinner table, Nick. They don't deserve a little bit of We are gonna just leave it. Nick, we can discuss this later. I'm sure the audience of our Lodi, she can probably come up with the first solution for us. Shut up, Concepcions. You are bottom three. Except for my dear sweet Nick. Where y'all know nothing about business. <laughs> and you think building more dance studios will generate more land for the Prusso family? As a ballroom dancer, I understand where you're coming from. That's just too selfish. Be for me all this, aren't it? We all know that if we took the land, waited for the value to go up, and then sold it to someone else, that would generate so much money. But you, Concepcions, will take all the money, right? So, Mataka. Stop. I can't take it when my family's being mean to the family of who I love most. Yeah, Lodi and Drea, we don't care about the Harris at all. We just want you guys to be happy for us. Wait, is that what you're saying at the other side of the table? We're in love. Oh, guys, isn't that such wonderful news? How did this happen? Well, he gave me flowers one time, and he paid for my food one time, and he opened the door for me one time. <laughs> The bar from that is in hell. My son, Enrico, is too good for your son. Oh, EJ has a car. And a great sense of fashion. What does Enrico have? A camera. And a blessed talent with it, too. Aren't you dating Eliza? You are you have a That's enough. You guys have ruined my appetite. You may continue with dinner, but I'm done. Here, let me get you some water after you settle down outside. You Concepcions are nothing but second rate, trying hard, copycat. You don't get to splash water on me and my mother, you Aranetas. <laughs> Yeah, beat them up, Christine. Lodi Andrea has requested you all to return to your respective homes after this disastrous dinner. This is no exceptions. Eat my butt, Aranetas! They all left, Lodi Andrea. That's so sad. I was really looking forward to this dinner. Here, your water. I added something extra special to it to make it extra refreshing. You're the best, Elena. This is why you're my right-hand woman. <clears throat> this is some spicy water. What did you put in it? If I'm the best, then why don't I get a single penny? Girl, what are you even saying? I do everything for you, and I manage all your businesses, but I get nothing, and you're giving it to them instead. So you're betraying me over money? That's right. I poisoned you. You're going to get what's coming for you. <gasps> Okay, but like... <gasps> There's nothing wrong with your nail still. Like, you're both on the way fine. I don't understand. Yeah, I really see no problem with your nails, Ethan. Oh my god, a dead body! I have to post on the post story. Ready to find out who murdered the great mafia overlord? Yep, I'm so excited to actually start investigating. I even made a supply list. Don't you mean an investigation report? <laughs> Silly me. If I wasn't a private investigator, in another life, I would be an events coordinator. Let's bring them all in, including the Gen Z passerby. Where were you in the dining room last night?
I was having the absolute worst dinner of my life with the concepcions on this side of the table. They threw water at my family, but I managed to avoid an attack. I was on the left side of the table with Nick and her daughter Gabby eating some delicious pico. Minding my business until the greedy conception started being fake. Actually, I was enjoying the palabok and talking with Lodi and Andrea until they started causing chaos. I was able to avoid the water though. The conceptions were sitting on the right side of the table. I was complimenting Lodi Andrea's cooking before Adrian started yelling insults at us and throwing water. I'm just 12 years old. I just wanted to throw some water. I was at the opposite end of the table of G Lodi Andrea with, with Enrico. I was with EJ, uh, showing off our rings after our engagement. This isn't looking too promising so far. Well, we still have two suspects left, so why don't we ask the Gen Z passerby? So Ray, you were the one who discovered the body. Did you see anything else last night? Actually, after I took a picture with the dead body, I realized I heard someone running away and caught a picture of them. They were wearing black and had long dark hair. Well, it can be Adam or Nick. They don't have long black hair. They avoided the water and this person was wearing all black. Fanny has lighter colored hair. So that leaves us with Adrian, Gabby, and Christine because they all have long black hair. Wait, it can't be Christine. She went home with us. You can ask Elena. And Gabby and I didn't stay long after dinner was announced to be over. Wait, there's one person we haven't questioned yet. Bring in her right-hand woman, Elena. So, where were you at the time of death, Elena? After I announced the ending of the dinner, I went back home with the family. Can anyone account for you? Yes, the maid can. What? Boy! We had dinner on a Sunday, which is the day our maid requested to be off because of her church duties. Well, she came back during the night, so she confirmed that I was there all night. She requested Sunday and Monday off. You are in a dozen conceptions. I hate you all. She's dead. I mean, I'm sad, but what about the land? Yeah, we'll never know who it's for. Actually, she entrusted it to me. And me. When she found out we were going to get married, she said she didn't trust the inheritance to us. We decided to split it down the middle so that the Aranetas and the Concepcions could get their fair share of the land. This is so great. Can we throw water in celebration? How about we do that when it's warmer? Like in the summer, during the Puso barbecue? Sounds great to me! Okay guys, save the date, January 30th. I'll help you plan the wedding. No, me, I'll help. Anyways guys, save the date, January 30th, titled Puso Presents, Poo Spring Premiere. Good! Yeah. Yeah. Lodi Andrea has requested you all to. Wait, we... You don't get to splash the water on me and my mother, you are Netas. Go a little more up. I was having the absolute worst in the conceptions. Okay. Sitting up this side of the conceptions on this side of the table. They took them and my family. That's good, Nick. That's good. Do exactly. No, we have Adrian. And you're also. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Act one. <laughs> I really like the ponce. It might be my favorite food. Is that really your line? Yeah. Oh my. Let me get you some water after you settle down outside. That's <laughs> enough. You guys have ruined my dinner and my appetite. I'm I mean. Done. Act one. <laughs> <laughs> 
You guys know nothing. Oh wait. <laughs> you are bottom three. Except for my dear sweet Nick. <laughs> and <laughs> nothing but uh What is a lie? To speak to me in some way. Who do you think they are? I am. <laughs> my name is Mike Tyson. Muhammad Ali the greatest. The greatest. Muhammad Ali is the greatest. What's happening? And you're technically like listening on. The whole idea was for you. He's to right to behind me, isn't he? <laughs> but the shot, shot. You want me so. You More like Shaq is bad, baby. Dude. <laughs>